Now that we've entered fall, the cozy days have become a constant. Though it can certainly be a challenge here, as the harsh stormy winds often push through the chimney flues, causing a bit of a racket and a smokier home than I'm used to. Not to mention the potential for floods that follows close behind. But there's something special about this time of year here. Life remains even when every instinct of mine believes it should be asleep, making the season that readies us for rest full still of so much energy and inspiration. I know last year I found it to be a bit exhausting. This year I'm ready now to embrace it in full. Allowing the land of my new home to nourish my soul. Carry me through the now less unfamiliar time and grow. Today is the first clear day we've had since all of the storms, and it's also the first day that really feels like fall. And I finally feel ready for this season. <laughs> we ended up weathering the storms. I spent a little bit of time trying to film, but I was mostly just tired out from getting the house all prepared. We managed through the first high tide. Alrighty, we are at high tide now and it's not so bad. It's splashing over the bulkhead a little bit, but uh, nothing too severe at this point. So this is the first high tide of today and hopefully it will stay pretty under control. But then when it was going down, it didn't really go down all that much. The tide is going down, but you wouldn't know it looking at it. It is uh, starting to pick up with the wind and the low pressure hasn't really allowed it to go down much. We'll be close to low tide soon, so it's definitely picking up a bit, but so far it doesn't look too terrible. And it even ended up getting a little bit crazy there uh, for a bit when it was supposed to be low tide. It's picking up even more still. Oh boy. but really we managed pretty okay. And the next high tide that I was worried about was at night when it was really dark out and uh, it really seemed to stay over the edge. It did splash over a bit, but it didn't ever come over top, which was really good and I'm very thankful for that. But it was exciting and I've learned in the past that being prepared for something means that nothing is gonna go wrong. Because, well, when you're not prepared, that's when everything just falls apart. So I think getting the sandbags put down and all of that business was really an important piece of what made it okay and safe. At least I'm gonna tell myself that because it cost me a couple of days of just being sore and tired. But at least now I don't have to worry about it for the rest of the winter and that peace of mind is really important. Before I head in though, I do wanna show you how tall the bulkheads really are. I think that's one of the things that most is most surprising. The water comes up right to the edges of them this time of year, and they are much taller than me. <sighs> this isn't even the tallest part. And I'm only five foot three, so a lot of things do tend to tower over me, but the water comes up really high, and I think that's one of the things that's craziest, especially because this beach used to not have a bulkhead at all. It used to just be natural, but over the years, with water levels rising and such, it's had to go in to save the houses. And it is a little scary to think that they may not last all that long. But I suppose that's something we all are going to have to face soon. I'm going to enjoy it while I can. And it's getting chilly. It's only 35 out now, and uh, pretty soon it will be much, much colder. But it's such a beautiful, clear night with perfect views of the mountains.
The other morning when I was out walking on the beach with Hazel, I found a bunch of rose hips growing on the side of the cliff. And since we've now had um, a couple of frosts, it's the best time to harvest them. I don't really think I'll be able to reach all of them, but uh, I'll at least get a good handful from it and it'll give me some uh, something to do today with the herbs and oh my goodness is it freezing out here I feel like my mouth doesn't work anymore it's getting to that time of year where it's hard to talk but I'm excited and it is early 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 the sun is barely coming over the horizon right now but the tides are still getting pretty high really early and they aren't going down very far right now so I uh, have to get out here when I can someone is not too pleased that I am uh, pausing our morning walk So I only managed to gather up a good handful of them, but it'll be enough to kind of experiment with and try. Right now I think I'm just going to trim up these tops and rinse them so that they'll be clean. Now just to remove the seeds and to start the drying process. Now just to let these dry and use for later. After a storm, the earth falls quiet. If only just for a moment. Then there is a rebirth of energy and a renewal of life as the earth begins to breathe again.